Mr. Parker here to do another review. This one was sent to me by MVD. It is our squared film. And there was a lot of buzz about this one. I heard about it. And uh, it was a lot of buzz before it was actually released and stuff. And that is Zombie Girl the Movie. And this is basically a documentary about a 13-year-old girl, 12-year-old, 13-year-old girl, making her own feature-length zombie movie. That is awesome. And basically, it also comes with the movie on there, Pathogen, which is what it was, and the making of, which is the full-length feature. It's basically a movie about her making a movie. What they give you the movie, they give you interviews, they give you all sorts of cool crap. Basically, uh, in the documentary, you learn who she is, who her family is, what inspired her, and they go through the motions, her writing the script over a two-year period of post-production, all this stuff. And you uh, you see her learn how to make a movie, and uh, the, she stumbles over certain things, and at first, her parents are super supportive, and later on, the stress starts taking the toll on the mother. It's kind of uh, sad, and it's like sad in a way that she's getting so frustrated, but she's working a full-time job. Really I don't worry about I'm sorry. It. We'll just shoot it on okay. Sunday. Sunday? Set, okay, Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, a little more. Because we're only shooting like one scene on Sunday. Okay. We are shooting. No, that's Sunday is Father's Day. We that's can't shoot. Oh, that's Sunday, Monday. Okay. Monday? Yeah. Monday, next Monday. No, no, not Monday. Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Okay. okay, so we're shooting scene 10. We're shooting scene 10 and scene 18. 18. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know what I. Tony, can somebody come pick you up? Yeah. Okay, good. The first thing that kind of messed me up was that. Tony said he had to leave at 3, and he knows that the shooting is mostly going from, like, noon or 1 o'clock till 5 every day at least. Apparently, he's got tickets to see Batman, and he doesn't want to miss it. So, <clears throat> then Emily told Alex to be here at 2, so that's a problem. Alec didn't remember his script. Rose didn't bring the right clothes. She didn't call people or get in touch with them till real late at night. And she gave them all conflicting information. Everybody has a different message about what's going on today. And it's not working. I don't know what to do, Emily. This is kind of messed up. I'm embarrassing her, obviously. I'm just concerned with people not respecting her and thinking that she messed up and not being considerate of their time and stuff. So I'm trying to help her, but I'm trying to help the other cast members too. Dave, do you have everything picked up? No. How about the chargers? No, I don't think we need the chargers. How about the chargers? We don't need them. It's all charged. We don't need them. They're all charged. I just checked. Yeah, but they're only good for like an hour. Okay, well, um, it ran out of battery. It ran out, but it doesn't work. It says change battery pack. We can't like film anymore because I didn't bring the charger for this camera. Open my eyes. Yeah, cool. Open my eyes. Really? Open my eyes. Can I open my eyes? Yeah, you can open your eyes. You want some yellow? Yeah. That'll be gross. Can you just do it one more time? No, one time. Just one more time. When I'm done, I'm going to see if I will do it, okay? Well, how long will it take? Like five minutes. Look at the wall, okay? Like you're sleeping. Okay, Emily. Emily! Support of parents, and the girls really got uh, really special, and she does a really cool job, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. And she seems like a sweet person, and she gets her friends, and they make this feature-length zombie movie. To be honest, uh, the music that they did for the documentary is really cool, really clever. The cutscenes are really nice, and it has like kind of this uh, sweet little feel to it, kind of a light-hearted comedy feel to it. But, uh, you know, actually, it's also very inspiring and also a little depressing to someone like me or a lot of other people who never made a film that always have wanted to and just never got off their lazy asses and even tried it. And here we have this 13-year-old girl making a feature film with special effects and zombies and all sorts of stuff. So it's really interesting. It's really cool. It's really inspire inspirational. And it's just something that you would... <laughs> You just got to check out if you like zombie movies, if you like uh, inspirational like documentaries or anything like that about film. Uh, and, you know, after the viewing and stuff and the whole crowd sees the movie, she answers questions. And she looks back on the whole process and she doesn't think her movie's amazing. She's like, it was just fun and for the time and everything. It was cool, I guess, you know. She's already working on other films. And uh, her parents talk about their worries and everything like that. Uh, but, yeah, it's edited nice. It's a good film. It has it's all its moments. They lose some pieces of film and get depressed. <laughs> You know, that's a big thing about it. She learned a lot from it, it looks like, and uh, it'll make her a better filmmaker.
tasty. You guys walk toward her like you're getting eager. Maybe a little bit this way. Uh, a little bit higher. Perfect. One more take, guys. One more take. It wasn't queued up, so I reshot over stuff, um, which is messed up. <laughs> so we're gonna have to reshoot it, but we're worried that they won't let us back in the store because kids put blood over the bathroom. What scenes got shot over? Part of scene 25, which is the end scene, or scene 26, it's just a conversation between the three characters that are left, and so I need to reshoot, I think, I didn't look at all the footage. Uh, the movie itself, Pathogen, actually isn't that bad. I mean, I've seen movies up to par with it made by adults. I actually enjoyed Pathogen more than I've seen some really horrible low-budget features. For a 12-year-old girl, it's phenomenal. For a regular film, it's okay. For an independent film, it's all right. You know, it has a couple gore moments, a couple other things. The acting shaky. Most of it's kids. I mean, some of it's decent. Uh, the sound's hard to hear, which is one of the most uh, hardest things to capture in a low-budget feature, and lighting. People forget about that kind of stuff. I mean, the lighting always looks bad. It looks good maybe when you're shooting it, but then later it looks bad, and sound and stuff like that is very hard to capture. That's kind of a, you need some professionals on set for that type of thing. That's a whole big you know, a giant job there. And that's the things that really uh, suck the most about the movie, if I had to pick some stuff. But it's fun. I mean, the, uh, the lack of a cast and crew is a little thing or two. But come on. They made it on a very low budget. And it actually is watchable and fun. And uh, has some cool things in there. Uh, they also has Harry Knowles talking about this movie. All interviews with people that are about film, like uh, critics and stuff like that. In the actual movie, in the actual uh documentary but the film's not bad itself the documentary is well worth your watch and uh you also get interviews with her q a and stuff it's a very cool uh release and it's a very cool movie and a very cool documentary i would recommend this one uh if you're a fan of film you know and if you need some inspiration to get your ass out there and make a movie uh this one's pretty good it's a uh, zombie girl the movie with pathogen in there too so check it out i'm mr parka have a good one i'm sorry i had to go through this i really don't want to kill you and I don't want to die. Well, I guess I'll have to anyway. I'm gonna end up dead. I'm going somewhere. What type do you want? Whatever you've got.